Keep in Mind by Sylvester Wago In mind, when sound and sure stepping, a room large enough to contain universes exists for our tireless industry and for our end-of-the-day leisure. A private rambling palace sans souci. What would an organizing work-driven person do with such decadent space? However could she control the goings-on, the ebb and flow of the tides, a caprice, a scherzo, the latest trifle? He changes his mind a lot, and that is bad for at least one room. Quick, flush the toilet, mop floor, another chamber. She thrills at the idea. Oh, brother. Change the wallpaper and the visitors already. The queen may be visiting. Deeper in that formless castle, women in vibrating saris of panchromatic silk reveal sacred mantras. The passions make love there. The elixir of easy joys fills splendid pools refreshment for those who will brave the temperature. Why must the mind be so sound and sure-stepping? The body will defend herself. Don't let it bother you quite so much. Most minds, understood or not, keep a secret menagerie of options, wishes, and protections. Notions, ideas, mending tools, blending sexes, trembling fears, handsome gendarmes, warm snowflakes, sweetest fairy floss, haven of comfort, a breathing museum of favored friends and clear-sighted consciousness. The oceans of restless care assailing my reflex-conditioned body, iron forged by bullish markets and Manhattan rents, break hard against my vulcanized palace doors. You'll never flood me out, for you are not kept in mind.